using state managed care quality strategies for quality improvement in Medicaid and CHIP. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, or CMS, offers technical assistance to support Medicaid and Children's Health Insurance Program, or CHIP, state programs to improve care and outcomes for Medicaid and CHIP beneficiaries. This video is part of a CMS technical assistance series focused on improving Medicaid and CHIP managed care quality. You can view the rest of the series by following the link on the right to the Managed Care Quality Improvement page on Medicaid.gov. While you can review the videos in any order, we recommend reviewing the Using Medicaid and CHIP Managed Care Quality Oversight Activities for Quality Improvement webinar because it provides a foundation for this and other videos in the series. This video provides an overview of state managed care quality strategies and shares key quality improvement components included within a quality strategy and how you can use them to drive quality improvement in your state's managed care program. You can use this video to onboard state Medicaid and CHIP staff, get a refresher as you begin to update your quality strategy or introduce your quality improvement partners such as managed care plan quality improvement staff to the role and purpose of state quality strategies. Please note several slides in this video contain embedded links. To access these links, download the accompanying slide deck from Medicaid.gov. Before we learn more about quality strategies, let's take a step back and review the roles of Medicaid and CHIP staff in managed care quality improvement. Throughout this video, the term states refers to Medicaid and CHIP programs and their staff. The first key role states have is to ensure managed care quality oversight activities are conducted as federally mandated. This includes developing managed care quality strategies, requiring and monitoring managed care plan quality assessment and performance improvement, or QAPI, programs, and implementing an annual external quality review, or EQR. The second relates to voluntary managed care quality improvement activities states can conduct, such as incorporating their managed care plans into quality improvement projects, connecting plans to the state's quality improvement partners, and sharing data and best practices with plans. Let's dive in and learn about state managed care quality strategies. States operating Medicaid and CHIP managed care programs are required to develop a quality strategy. The quality strategy is a roadmap for how your state will assess and improve healthcare quality and outcomes for services delivered by your managed care plans. Your state must post its quality strategies on their website. This ensures that all your quality improvement partners, including your managed care plans, are aware of your state's quality improvement goals and priorities. You can learn more about quality strategy requirements and how to draft and update a quality strategy by accessing CMS's quality strategy toolkit by following the link available at the bottom of the screen. The quality strategy is a part of a set of interrelated managed care oversight activities called the Managed Care Quality or MCQ cycle. The Managed Care Quality cycle starts with the quality strategy, which details the state's quality improvement priorities and activities. The quality strategy priorities and activities inform managed care plan contract language, including specifying quality assessment and performance improvement, WAPI, Performance Measures and Performance Improvement Projects, or PIPs. Managed Care Plan QAPI Performance Measures and PIPs are then validated during the Annual External Quality Review, or EQR. Finally, recommendations and learning from EQR inform the state's quality priorities, including potential updates to the quality strategy and in Managed Care Plan QAPI programs. Your state must update its quality strategy as needed, but not less than once every three years. Though not required, you could consider updating your quality strategy when launching a new quality improvement effort, such as joining a CMS quality improvement affinity group. When updating the quality strategy, you must consider EQR recommendations, which we will discuss further on the next slide. As shown here on the right, the process of creating and revising a state quality strategy begins with developing an initial quality strategy or revising an older quality strategy. Once developed, you must publish a draft for public comment, which includes obtaining input from your state's medical care advisory committees, beneficiaries, and other partners, as well as tribes if your state enrolls American Indians and Alaska Natives in your managed care programs. 
After addressing public comments, you must submit the revised quality strategies to CMS by emailing the Managed Care Quality mailbox, which we share at the end of this video. While CMS does not approve state quality strategies, it does provide feedback to help states comply with federal requirements and strengthen the state's quality improvement efforts. Finally, once the quality strategy is finalized, you must post it publicly on your website. Your state must also evaluate the effectiveness of its quality strategies at least once every three years and publicly post the results. If the effectiveness evaluation informed changes to your updated quality strategy, you should include that information in the revised quality strategy. Your quality strategy contains rich information on your state's managed care quality activities. In the following slides, we will focus on four key quality improvement elements. One, goals and objectives for continuous quality improvement. Two, quality metrics. Three, HIPs. And four, network adequacy and availability of services standards. Let's start with the quality strategy goals and objectives, which articulate your state's priorities and focus areas in the managed care quality improvement. Goals share high level performance aims, such as improve the health and wellness of new mothers and infants. And objectives share how your state will monitor progress towards that goal, such as increase the use of prenatal service and improve performance on the timeliness of prenatal care metric. When identifying goals and objectives, you must consider the health status and populations covered by your managed care program. For example, if your managed care program enrolls beneficiaries who need long-term services and supports, your quality strategy goals and objectives should account for this population. To identify goal and objective topics, work directly with your quality improvement partners, including beneficiaries, providers, and managed care plans, and review quality metric performance trends found in EQR and Corset reports to identify improvement opportunities. Moving to the quality metrics included in the quality strategy, these are the metrics your state will use to monitor managed care plan performance. They include, but are not limited to, plan quality assessment and performance improvement measures. When identifying quality metrics, consider including quality metrics that align with CMS quality reporting programs, such as the Medicaid and CHIP core sets and CMS Universal Foundation. For each quality metric, you should include a performance target. Performance targets can help you monitor progress towards your quality goals over time. You can set targets in a variety of ways. For example, you could use a specific target, such as 70%, or a relative target, such as 2% decrease from the 2021 baseline. You could also base the targets on benchmarks, for example, aiming to perform above the NCQA National Medicaid 75th percentile. The third key quality improvement element in a quality strategy are performance improvement projects, or PIPs. The PIP information included in the quality strategy describes PIP requirements for the state's managed care plans. For example, this may include required focus areas, such as improving diabetes control, focus populations, such as foster care children, or PIP interventions, such as providing targeted case management. When designing PIP requirements, you should consider aligning PIP topics with your quality strategy goals and objectives. You could also consider reviewing ongoing quality improvement projects for interventions that show promise. Interventions that show promise could be scaled and spread through a PIP. The final quality strategy element we'll discuss today are the state's network adequacy and availability of service standards. Your quality strategy must share the quantitative standards for the provider types covered under your state's managed care program. For example, adult and pediatric behavioral health providers and LTSS providers, if applicable. The standards must include all geographic areas covered by your state's managed care programs, though the standards for the same provider type can vary by geographic area. For example, you may have different standards for rural and urban dental providers. You can learn more about managed care network adequacy standards, including the network adequacy validation EQR activity by reviewing the slides from CMS's network adequacy validation webinar. You can access this webinar by following the link available at the bottom of the screen.
with this understanding of what quality strategies are and the required key quality improvement components included in them, for the remainder of this video, we'll turn now to discuss how to use your quality strategy to drive quality improvement within your managed care program. Before we dig in, let's take a step back and review quality improvement, or QI, projects. QI projects are a set of focused activities aimed at improving quality, timeliness, or access to healthcare services for Medicaid and CHIP beneficiaries. For example, working with one of your managed care plans to test ways of increasing breast cancer screening. You can learn more about quality improvement by reviewing the resources at the links available at the bottom of the screen. Your state's quality strategy should direct the quality improvement efforts taking place within your managed care program, including QI projects. The quality strategy goals and objectives, quality metrics, and PIPs can inform QI project aim statements, which detail what the project will achieve, change ideas, or the evidence and experience-based interventions the project will test, and measurement strategies, which are used to monitor a project's progress. When starting a QI project, consider aligning with the topics included in your state's quality strategy goals and objectives. In this example, after reviewing your quality strategy, you would focus your QI project on improving the use of preventative services, specifically flu vaccinations. You can use your quality strategy goals and objectives even if you already have a project focus area. For example, if your focus area aligns with a goal, consider using the measure included in the associated quality strategy objective and your QI project's measurement strategy. In this example, if your QI project focuses on flu vaccinations, you would use the flu vaccination for adults measure. By using the same metric, you will be able to monitor how your QI project is advancing you toward your state goal. Finally, if your QI project aligns with a quality strategy objective, you can also use the associated performance target to inform your QI project's aim statement. Remember, QI projects tend to start small, testing interventions on smaller populations to make sure the change idea works before implementing it broadly. In this example, the quality strategy objective is to improve performance on the flu vaccination measure to 87%. You might adapt this for your QI project to be improved performance among two managed care plans to 90%. You can also use your quality strategy metrics to support your QI project. For example, you can use applicable quality strategy metrics to monitor your QI project's impact and progress, also known as your QI project's measurement strategy. In this example, if your project is focused on asthma, you would use the asthma medication ratio measure included in your quality strategy. We recommend using your QI project's measurement strategy with the quality strategy metrics because they are the metrics your managed care plans are required to report. By aligning, you may be able to leverage existing data collection efforts instead. Existing metrics will also be familiar to your Medicaid and CHIP analytic team, who may also be supporting your QI project. Our final topic will be how to use your quality strategy performance improvement projects, or PIPs, to support your QI projects. Before we turn to that, however, we thought it would be helpful to review the difference between a QI project and PIPs shown in the table on the right. First, PIPs are subject to regulatory requirements. For example, PIPs must be designed and conducted in a methodologically sound manner that meets state or federal requirements. They must be validated as part of the annual EQR, and they must be included in managed care plan quality programs and reflected in the managed care plan contracts. QI projects are not subject to these or other regulatory requirements. Second, PIPs are conducted by managed care plans, while QI projects can be conducted by any state Medicaid and CHIP program quality improvement partners, including managed care plans, Medicaid and CHIP staff, provider organizations, or other state agencies. There are similarities, however. For example, regardless of whether managed care quality improvement activities are conducted as a PIP or a QI project, the state Medicaid and CHIP program oversees the activities. 
Another similarity is that PIPs and QI projects often use the same quality improvement methods, such as an AIM statement. With that understanding, we'll turn to the final quality strategy element we'll be discussing today, PIPs. Whenever you start a QI project, we recommend that you review the PIPs described in your quality strategy. They can be a starting point for considering change ideas to test as part of your QI project. If a PIP topic in the quality strategy aligns with your QI project focus area, review managed care plan copy programs in your state's most recent external quality review report to learn more about the implementation status of the PIP and progress to date. If the PIP intervention shows promise, you can consider using your QI project to spread it to other populations and programs. You can also contact the managed care plans working on the PIPs to see if they need technical assistance and support. Ultimately, your state's quality strategy will be most effective if you integrate it into your day-to-day -day work. You can consider doing the following to maximize the impact of the quality strategy. Have regular conversations with Medicaid and CHIP leadership to inform them about progress on the quality strategy goals and objectives. Work with internal quality measurement and data analytics teams and managed care plan staff to monitor monthly or yearly progress on the quality metrics included in the quality strategy. Lastly, include quality strategy goals, objectives, and ongoing quality improvement work as regular topics with managed care plans. This will help ensure that these goals and objectives are a priority for managed care plans leadership and quality activities. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you have learned something new about managed care quality strategies. For any questions about Medicaid and CHIP managed care quality, including quality strategies, please contact the CMS Managed Care Quality TA mailbox at managedcarequalityta at cms.hhs.gov. This is also the mailbox you should use to submit your revised quality strategy. Before we go, we want to note that the appendices of this slide deck contain several additional resources that you may find helpful. Appendix A lists the managed care oversight activities that apply to each type of plan. Appendix B shares definitions from key acronyms used throughout this video. Finally, Appendix C includes links to TA resources related to managed care quality improvement, including links to CMS's managed care quality webpage, the quality strategy subpage, the quality strategy toolkit, and the 2023 EQR protocols.